Good morning, friends. I've already filmed this twice. It's been a weird morning, and they both turned into like 15 minutes of mouth diarrhea that had nothing to do with anything. So I'm starting over. I am having a one point cup of coffee with coffee creamer that I that I already put away. <laughs> Three tablespoons of the peppermint mocha coffee creamer, sugar free. And then I had, it's gone now, but I had a little bit of the marshmallow foam on it. Um, so highlights. It's Saturday. It's dark. It's about 6.02 in the morning. We've been up for at least an hour. I'm exhausted and I may need another cup of coffee. Um, so today is Saturday. We don't really have anything going on. We have to go to the store. I need some milk, like really simple things. I need some fresh vegetables. Um, so we're going to be making a store run in a little while. I'm still trying to decide if I want to drive all the way to our big town or not, which is like 25 or 30 minutes away. I'm not sure I want to go that far, and I hope I can just get the few staples that I need um, in our little town here. So I'm hoping. Um, so I don't have to cart two big two kids to the big town again. We were there yesterday. I don't really want to drive all the way back up there. Um, so we may try that. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm thinking about breakfast. And the whole spiel that I went on about in my other two videos this morning, um, which, like I said, really has nothing to do with anything, um... Monday morning, I am going back to, I'm going to do week to week right now, um, because setting anything more than a week seems to be too much for my brain to handle right now. We have a lot of stuff, not bad things, but we have a lot of stuff going on in our personal life right now. Um, just between my son being in school, we're trying to merge, um, right now my daughter is enrolled in one Head Start in our old town, and my son is enrolled in Head Start in our town that's close to us. And we kept my daughter where we were because she loves our home visitor, and my daughter has a lot of um, attachment issues. She doesn't like people that she sees in her everyday life, let alone new people. So we didn't want to introduce her to someone if we didn't have to. And because the town where we actually live doesn't have a Head Start, um, we were able to source from anywhere we wanted, um, which was nice. Our home visitor got extra mileage for coming here, and we got to keep her. But she just got a new job, so we are now trying to merge into the same program that my son is in. She won't be going to school, but to have a home visitor come from that program, they don't have any space right now. So we're kind of in limbo and we're trying to decide what to do because basically we have to either sign on with the new uh, home visitor in our old town um, until we can get into the old program or we have to drop the program, which means when the opening opens, we will have to reapply, which is a lot of paperwork. Um, so we're kind of trying to figure that out. My sister is coming home this week. She actually lives in uh, Eugene, Oregon, and we haven't seen her in about 15 months, I think. Um... So we're really excited about her coming home, but my parents don't have room on their side of the house, which means she has to stay over here with us, which makes a lot of uh, logistics issues, like where is she going to sleep, because we don't have a spare room, and is she going to be okay camped on our couch for 10 days? It's just a lot going on. Um, like I said, nothing bad, lots of good things, um, but... It's just been really busy and crazy here, but Monday morning, I am going back to, I'd say about 97% plant-based. Um, no meat, no dairy. I'm still on the fence about eggs. We have firm 
fresh homegrown eggs here um, by the dozens my mom has like seven dozen eggs in her fridge right now and I don't see anything wrong with eating the eggs they don't bother my stomach they don't you know whatever so I think I'm going to keep eggs and I'm keeping coffee creamer. I know that there's a milk derivative in there. I don't know exactly what the milk derivative does. I have tried researching. I have tried because these are labeled as non-dairy. The milk derivative, which means I don't care if there's animal products in here. Um, I just want to cut out the dairy that makes me sick. So I'm going to keep the coffee creamer this next time. This was kind of the hardest food for me to give up. I really enjoy my coffee and it took a lot for me to find a creamer that was low in points that I liked, let alone um, the cashew milk is definitely better than the almond milk, but it still just doesn't taste the way I want it to. So that is going to be my sacrifice. I am going to keep the coffee creamer in this time, but take out the rest, which is going to be a little difficult. We're having our family Thanksgiving next Sunday, not tomorrow, but next Sunday, um, while my sister is home. So that, I don't know how strict I will be that day. Um... I can't promise I won't eat a little bit of turkey. I, I'm not promising anything. This is my journey. Um, I do want to keep you up to date on what I plan on doing. But it could change in one second. Um, I'm not going to worry about next Sunday yet. I am bringing a big kale salad. So I know that I can eat that for the bulk of my day. Um... This will not be our only Thanksgiving. On Thanksgiving Day, we will have to have Thanksgiving with my dad's family. However, my mom and I are doing a 5K um, on Thanksgiving morning. So that will be fun. Um, there is what is called a turkey trot here in our area that benefits um, a local cancer charity. All the money stays local. Um... They do a lot of, actually, the company, the, the foundation was in the name of a local woman here. And her son is actually my husband's boss. And we have known this man our enti entire adult lives. Um, we have always worked with them. My husband and him worked for the same company before this other guy moved up and bought the piece of the company. Um, so we are going to do the turkey trot on Thanksgiving morning. The restaurant is closed, which means my husband will be home, which means I hope he will keep my kids at home. Restaurant. But I'm not afraid to take them with me either, um, except for the fact that it might be really cold. So I'm hoping he will... Mommy. Uh, well, that's beautiful. I'm hoping he will keep my kids at home so me and my mom can go, go and just do the 5K and be done with it. Um, so yeah, little bits of changes. Um, I'm feeling really inspired. I have been working out every day, excuse me, every day, 30, at least 30 minutes a day for the last two weeks now. And... I feel really inspired to keep making changes in my life that make me feel good. So even though it seems like it's a lot of work, and in the past the reasons that I've given up the the plant-based is because it's just easier. It's just easier to cook one meal. It's just easier to let my husband cook for me. It's just easier, but it's not better. Mom, so, did I have breakfast? Not yet, buddy. Not yet. No, I'll cook you something in just a minute, though. I'm ready for breakfast. Okay. I guess I gotta go. I will be back at breakfast. But yeah, Monday morning, starting fresh. Um, 97% plant-based for me. So, I'm gearing up. I'm gonna spend today and tomorrow doing some 
meal prep for that so maybe I will include some of that in this video I don't know because again I rambled on for nine minutes um I gotta go I gotta go make my son breakfast I'll see you guys in a bit bye all right friends it is time for breakfast finally I am not eating anything that I thought I was gonna be eating for breakfast it's finally I can't get my finger over there enough that's so weird it's finally light outside this is my first tumbler of water, so I am working on that. I'm still working on the same cup of coffee. I haven't gotten very far. My son wanted breakfast, so I cooked them eggs. He ate his. My daughter ate hers. They asked for some more. I made them promise me that they wanted to eat them because I did not want to throw them away. My daughter ate hers. My son did not. So I stuck one egg scrambled in two pieces of Ezekiel bread. There's one point worth of the Earth Balance vegan butter on there. So four for the bread, two for the eggs, one for the butter, that's seven. I have half an apple here that I found on the floor with two bites taken out of it. So I washed it and cut it. And a half a banana because my son wanted peanut butter and a banana sandwich with his eggs. So, seven point breakfast, which isn't bad. I don't really care. It just wasn't. I really wanted some oatmeal, so maybe I'll end up having oatmeal for lunch. <coughs> Tonight is going to be a leftover slash salad night. Um, we have... We did meatloaf last night, so we have meatloaf left and mashed potatoes. My husband is going to be home, so that's why I'm kind of listing off that. There's still macaroni and cheese in there from the other night. Um, and I swear there's one more meal in there that I don't, I'm not sure of. So we're having leftovers for supper tonight. We're going to clean the fridge out and give me room to start meal prepping tomorrow. So I'm going to go eat my breakfast. And I will catch up with you guys in a bit. It is cold and raining here, and I need to go to the grocery store. And I really did not. The reason we didn't go to the grocery store yesterday was because I didn't want my kids to be out in the cold rain. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might go see if my mom will keep them for just an hour so that I can go get groceries, but I don't know. I'll check back in later. Bye, guys. Hi, friends. So it is lunchtime. And we've been busy bees this morning. We got all our errands ran. We have kind of cleaned the house. I got my planner all done for next week. <coughs> I am about three quarters of the way done. My menu plan for next week. So I'm going to have some lunch. This is my third mug of water. <laughs> I'm still working on the same cup of coffee I've had since like 5 30 6 o'clock whatever time it was this morning <coughs> so I have one one and a half ounces of Orida shoestring french fries which is two points I have a half a pear that I shared with my son and then over here I have one of the Joseph's pitas for one point there is one point worth of the Opa Feta Dill dressing on it. I would like to get that finished, um, that jar eaten. There's only maybe two more servings in it before Monday when I won't be able to eat it anymore. Um, there's some baby kale on there. And then this is one of the store brand California veggie burgers that I bought. These are three points. Four points, five points for this, two points for this, seven point lunch. What did you have for lunch? Um, French fries, pears, and chicken nuggets. Ooh, was it good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Tell them you'll see them later. See you later. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Hello, my friends. So I'm getting ready to have an afternoon movie with my kids. So I have four cups of air popped popcorn. I think that's three points. I think you can have four cups for three points. There's just some spray butter and some salt on here. 
So I'm going to have that and maybe a little bowl of grapes. And we're going to go watch Charlotte's Web. So we'll see you in a bit. Bye guys. Hi friends. So it is about 8 o'clock at night and I totally did not film my dinner. It was not really film worthy. I had two of the... Sorry, I'm really tired. I had two of the cabbage steaks from last night, so I'm counting one point for that for the olive oil that I used to cook them in last night. Um, I had half a cup of mashed potatoes, so I'm counting two points for that. So that's three points, and then I had a salad with two points of the non-dairy ranch. So that is two points, so two, three, five points for supper. I had four, five, six, seven points for breakfast. I had three, four, five, six, seven points for lunch. So that's 14. Five is 19. So I have plenty of points left. <laughs> Long story short, I don't know. This is like my hundredth cup of water today. I've been super thirsty. Um, I've been really trying hard not to have anything else but that one cup of coffee and water because I am still having terrible restless leg syndrome at night. So I'm really in the mood for something chocolatey. So I'm going to have one of these Luna bars, seven points. So I'm at 26 for the day, which isn't bad at all. I did not hit my steps today. I did not work out today. Um, I don't usually work out on Sundays, so tomorrow I will work out. Even I don't really care. So I will work out tomorrow because I didn't today. I'm only at 7,800 steps. It was about 35 degrees here, and it rained all day. It rained all day yesterday. <coughs> <coughs> so we have been inside, cuddled up, watching movies. My kids still are not feeling the best. So we've been just kind of laying low today, so I did not hit my step goal today. Um, I certainly won't in the next hour or so. I am actually going to go lay on the couch and watch TV till I can go to bed. Bedtime around here has gotten kind of difficult. Well, hasn't really ever since we moved here. We moved from a three-bedroom home to a two-bedroom home. So my kids share a room, which isn't bad, except my son is a, he likes to talk himself to sleep. Um, he just mutters and talks and makes up stories and things like that um, to help himself go to sleep, which would be fine, but my daughter is a lot like me and she's a very light sleeper. So the only thing we can really do to... help that is that Grayson goes to bed in our bed and then when he falls asleep I move him into his bed and then I can go to sleep so it makes things a little difficult and I wish it wasn't that way because I hate having to move him I'm always afraid he's going to wake up and not be able to get back to sleep I feel like he would be really happy if he could just go to bed in his own bed but it's not in the cards for us here um, and everything else about being here was good and within the next year or so you know he'll be over that stage and just go to bed and I think it'll be fine for them to share a room for a while um, as they get older we're definitely gonna have to think Sorry, hair in my shirt. As they get older, we'll definitely have to kind of reevaluate and think about things differently. But 
for now they're still little and I'm happy to be here with my mom and my family and it has cut our bills in half so for now this is what we do so I always have to wait and I like to give him a good I usually take him up about I take Willow up about 7 15 and he goes up then and I let him he has a little handheld uh, like inno tab just a kids tablet it doesn't have like Wi-Fi or anything like that he can't do any of that funny stuff just games that we approve and things like that so um, I always take him up after I put Willow to bed I always read him a story and then I put him I let him play his game until 8 o'clock then I go up and take it but then I like to give him at least an hour at least because I like him to be well into the sleep stage. Most of the time I'm lucky and in that between 7.30 to 8 o'clock he usually falls asleep on his own. Um, once in a while he's not asleep when I go up at 8 o'clock so I have to take the game away and have him roll over and go to sleep. But I like to give him time to like get to sleep and get settled before I move him so that I don't move him and have him just wake up so now instead of being able to go to bed at 7 30 like I used to and just take an hour and a half to watch a movie on my phone or um, read a book or something like that I have to kind of hang out down here in the main part of the house to give him time to go to sleep and of course tonight he's up there with my husband because my husband's schedule this week has been different. Um, normally he goes in to work at 9 and he works, usually he works till 9 at night. But on the weekends he usually works from 9 to 12, you know, whatever is needed of him. Um, which is long hours anyways, but this week he has had to open, so he's been working 4 a.m. to 4, so he has to leave here like at 3.40 to get to work at 4 o'clock in the morning. So he's pooped, and so he went to bed at like 6.30 because he was so tired, so Grayson went up with him, and I just barely went up, and it's a little after 8, and he was still awake. Because when daddy's home, daddy lets him play on his phone. And that's more fun than his game. So, long story short, hopefully within the next half an hour I can go to bed. But I did not make my steps. So, tomorrow's another day. I will see you guys in the morning. I hope everybody had a great Saturday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.